Hi, my name is Stephanie, and today I'll be going over the new QTS 4.0 OS, specifically the inbuilt feature of PhotoStation. PhotoStation is our application to create photo albums with your personal cloud. I want to point out some new feature enhancements to the PhotoStation before I jump into the demo. First up is now a timeline feature that can organize your photos by year and month when the photo was taken. Creating albums is simplified with the folder option. Now you can add the same photo to different albums without copying and pasting the photo from one album to another. The new photo station also enabled tagging features to photos so that you can easily search throughout your photo albums. In addition, you can comment on your photos and it will show up in your photos properties. Sharing is just that simple. In one click, you can share your photos directly to your social networking sites chat apps, and email. Videos that are stored in your multimedia folder will also appear in PhotoStation. Everything will appear as similar to GIFs or moving images, so you can easily scan and look for the video you want to see. Finally, we have added a smart import for your digital camera directly to the NAS, so that all your photos can be quickly added to the PhotoStation. Now let's go take a look. After you log on to your NAS, click the photo station icon. All the photos you have stored in the NAS will appear. This is the redesigned photo station, and as you can see, all your photos are categorized by the date it was taken. So let's say you want to access photos that you took on a family vacation. I will go to the dates when the vacation took place, and my photos will be listed. When you right click an image, a drop down menu will appear which will have many options that you could do with your photos, such as rotating the image, view it in a larger size, download it, add it to the slideshow, add it to the share folder, set coordinates, add tags, edit, or delete it. On the right side of every image, there's a panel for you to share or see more information of that particular image. The first tab shows the EXIF information, it will show you which camera was used to take that photo and also the geotag of it. When you click on the tag, it will show you the exact location of where the image was taken. By adding a tag, searching for the specific image becomes much easier and convenient. For example, I am going to tag this image as cake. And I'm going to write some description. By searching cake in the search bar, PhotoStation will search for the photo that you have tagged as cake. The last tab is for sharing. You can share your photos to your family and friends quickly through email, social networking sites such as Facebook and Twitter, or you can even create direct links for them to access it right away. Let's say you want to create an album. Be sure to name your album so it will be easier to differentiate which album you've created. Same as for the slideshow, just click on the plus sign and you can create a slideshow. Then go to the folder to select the photos, right click the images, choose add to and add them to the album that you just made or add it to the slideshow. After that, you can see all your photos stored in the album or the slideshow that you have selected. And now, in the vacation album, I will see all the pictures that I just added. And the vacation slideshow. And now, I'm going to play the slideshow on the button on top. It would be great for sharing with friends and family to see my vacation in Japan. Another great feature of PhotoStation is all videos stored in your multimedia folder will show as similar to a GIF file or a moving picture. When you click videos on the left panel, it makes it easier for you to see a quick preview of your video file so that you don't have to open it. Thank you for watching the video of PhotoStation. I hope you liked it. Thank you!